Witches and magicians are historical figures who have become part of our cultural heritage. And although their origins are mixed with legend, they're all part of an already forgotten reality. These magical individuals can be recognized by the fact that they claim to possess extraordinary powers, they use everyday objects for their craft, and perform unusual ceremonies. But above all, they're characterized by wearing very specific clothing. But the most interesting thing about their wardrobe is their headgear. Both witches and wizards are often depicted with an elongated conical hat that is pointed at the top. Where does this preference for this kind of hat come from? What is its historical origin? And above all, could it be related to the supernatural powers of wizards and witches? Before the church censored the conical hat in the Middle Ages and labeled it an object of witchcraft, it was already used all over the world. The most recent references to this item of clothing can be found in the late medieval Europe where the henin was popular. This cone-shaped headdress was worn by aristocratic women before being demonized by the church. But also on the other side of the world, in China, this type of hat was worn in ancient times as some 4,000-year-old mummies from the Tarim Basin show. A truly remarkable place where more than 100 mummies were buried, which according to analyses are said to have blonde hair, big eyes, and a European nose shape. Among the mummies found were the so-called Witches of Subeshi, a group of female mummies who wore a distinctive hat. During the Heian period in Japan, between 794 and 1185, only those who had a higher rank, such as rulers or aristocrats, were allowed to own this elongated headdress. But that's not the only reference we have from the Far East. As we can see, Buddhist architecture is characterized by the construction of pointed buildings, and Buddhist headdress is also depicted in pointed or conical form. In addition, we should also mention the different representations of Hindu gods, who also wear the same kind of headdresses. It is not a simple ornament, but something whose origin seems to come from the Middle East. In 1969, a tomb was found in Kazakhstan with the remains of a Scythian warrior who became known as the Golden Man of Isaac. As we can see, a high conical hat, decorated with winged horses in honor of the sun god, stands out from his uniform. In Iran and Turkey, the dervishes practice the meditative dance in which they turn endless circles around their own axes until they fall into a mystical ecstasy to reach God, according to their faith. These initiated Sufis, characterized by the wearing of traditional elongated high hats, are an important symbol of their past. In Egypt, we have the example of the gods Osiris and Horus, who are pictured with oblong hats. This mysterious symbol later became the Phrygian cap. It was also part of the Masonic symbols. And the mitre covering the Pope's head was influenced by the summer god Oannes, half man, half fish. The god Baal, who influenced the peoples of Babylon, Phoenicia, and Israel, also wore it. We also find hints for this strange hat in the legacies of the Hittites in Turkey. There, in the former Hittitic sanctuary of Yakilikaya, the conical hats can be seen in relief. Here, the twelve Hittite gods with their pointed hats are depicted in a procession. In Hittite mythology, the three main gods were Arina, Sharuma, and Teshub, the god of heaven and storm. This triad of gods also appears in an even older culture, which also used this unique headgear. We can find even more clues in the origin of the word magician, that comes from the ancient Persian and Latin word magus. Magi were those members of ancient Persia who took care of funerals and religious practices. When Zoroastrianism later became a popular religion in ancient Persia, the magi, or magicians, were regarded as guardians of the Zoroaster legacy based on the deity Ahura Mazda. The book The Middle East by Isaac Asimov refers to the magi, they were the priests of the Iranian tribes to whom the city inhabitants attributed occult powers. The term Magi in Chaldean meant magician, 
For example, the three kings who played such an important role in the birth of Jesus Christ and shaped Christianity, accordingly, were nothing else but Persian priests. It is believed that the wizards of Persia adopted customs from Babylon, such as astrology, demonology, and magic. It was actually in Sumer where the cult for this type of hat was born because the main gods used it, as we can see from the cylindrical stamps. It shows Enki and Ishtar with pointed hats with a kind of horns on the sides. We should remember that Mithra, Zoroaster, Horus, Buddha, and Oannes, among others, are all forms of the same entity. They all lead us to the Sumerian god Enki, that is, to the Anunnaki gods, those who descended from heaven to earth. All these gods were depicted with the typical wizard and witch hat. This characteristic garment that has developed over thousands of years shows us the connection between the Far East and Europe, and its wearers have always been persons with a high status and great knowledge. Often they were attributed supernatural powers for which they were feared. Could this article of clothing be the source of extraordinary powers? Some theories say that the conical shape of these typical hats would promote the flow of crown chakra energy which is located in the upper part of the head. This shape, as well as the material of the hat, could enhance and influence the capabilities of the wearer. Other speculations say that this type of clothing was initially only used to hide the elongated heads of its owners. That is to say that these gods who came from heaven had large elongated skulls. And if not, how do you explain that a number of tribes from different parts of the world share the practice of skull lengthening? There seems to be only one answer, namely that devotion to these gods led to a desire to imitate them. But of all the old hats, the most unusual were found in Germany and France. It involves four gold hats, which are hardly known and were designed more than 3,000 years ago from circles, points, and lines. They are the only ones of their kind in the world and are associated with magicians and sorcerers because of their distinctive shapes. The first of these were discovered in 1835 by a farmer in Germany in the town of Schifferstadt. Almost 30 centimeters long, it's the smallest hat of them all. The second hat was found in 1844 in the French town of Aventon. It is 55 centimeters long, but incomplete because the hat rim is missing. The third was discovered in 1953 in Enzelsdorf, also in Germany. It's 90 centimeters, which is the longest of them all. As for the fourth hat, its exact location is not clear, but it was discovered somewhere in southern Germany. It's known as a Berlin hat because it was the Berlin Museum that acquired the strange 75 centimeter tall object. It has to be said that these four hats have an oval shape and the openings are not round. The theories about their use are very different, and none of them have been confirmed so far. As we have already said, everything that surrounds these objects is completely unknown. Could it be that these hats covered the heads of gods, kings, and priests of antiquity? Or are they perhaps the remains of an advanced civilization that has disappeared? But perhaps the most interesting question is, what were they used for? What was their mysterious purpose? To date, no one has been able to uncover the secrets surrounding these mysterious golden hats of the gods, and everything implies that it will remain a mystery.